Hi there mates, this is National Tesla Nagong. This is a part two video of my FSD beta run. If you've not watched part one, click on the top right corner or in the description of this video for the part one video. A part three video is going to drop very soon. I'll link that in the description as well as soon as it drops. Let's do this. So we are all parked and now we're going to go to uh, SpaceX. Okay, that's awesome. But we're going to try, try F FSD. Uh, SpaceX 47 minutes. Let's do this. Okay. Double tap. We have actually in the parking lot, there's a guy <laughs> backing up. That is awesome. Look at that. Look at that. This is insane. This is insane. It, it saw the guy. Okay, on the road too, there's a cone on the road. Let's see what it does. There's, there's construction uh, site happening here. Let's see if we can actually yeah. see the construction site. <laughs> because we, we did do one construction run and it really didn't do the uh, construction site very this well. This is a good test. Wow. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> this is wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, now I think I think what happened in the previous round was because uh, there was a guy in front of us, so there was a car in front, so it was not able to judge. You can see the cones are right there or right next to me on the right hand side, but the car is able to judge that. Okay, there's another construction zone coming up. Let's see what will it do. Okay, it slows down, but it didn't didn't really stop. It didn't take it out of autopilot. It still we are still on autopilot. A little slow. Okay. Yeah, slow. Okay, but it, it but it came out that was really awesome, wasn't it? I was like, what do you guys think? Hey, this is quite amazing. This is amazing. Yeah. Uh, what I'm waiting for is ass. That's what I'm waiting for. We're all waiting for ass, guys. So if you guys didn't know what ass was, this is <laughs> this is actual, actual smart summon. We'll have that camera too so that people can get our reaction shots. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it, it, it can work on city streets too. So it'll come and come and pick you up in a traffic lot, traffic uh, in a parking lot. That is ass. Actual smart summon. We don't have actual smart summon yet. And, and Elon has been uh, pro promising, promising us ass for a very long time. <laughs> Elon promising ass. <laughs> This is so good. <laughs> this is awesome. So on a straight road, it, it, it is fine, isn't it? It really needs no interventions, just like our uh, autopilot. But that traffic light um, was amazing. And that parking lot exit was amazing because there was construction zones. There was a block on one of the lanes. It had to take the right. It was amazing, wasn't it, guys? What do you think? I was surprised. Yeah, you were surprised too. <laughs> okay, Mikey's been using it for a long time, but yeah. he was surprised as well. We are, we are completely floored. We're like, wow, what happened there? Uh, okay, we are in California, so this is Tesla country. Everywhere we see Teslas. Uh, at the very least, we see about five, seven Teslas every minute or two on uh, on the road. So this is pretty awesome. Um, and, and Australia is becoming like that too. Did you know that we had, uh, we had uh, four... Uh, ships come so about 40,000 vehicles came in within the last two or three wow. two, two or three weeks or within the last quarter or so and um, so we are also becoming like uh, like California like Tesla country so loads and loads of Teslas on the roads uh, uh, in my in my suburb which is a very small suburb in Wollongong which is far away from Sydney uh, an hour away from Sydney uh, in my suburb we have like six Teslas that doesn't count my Tesla so I have I have, <laughs> I have five myself but doesn't count mine <laughs> Excluding me, there are six Teslas there, which is, which is pretty awesome. And a few more people are just waiting for the new Ys to come through. Uh, the long range Ys, because the long range Ys just started delivering two weeks or three weeks ago in Australia too. So, so we're getting uh, more and more Teslas coming through. So this is all pretty good. This, the straight line stuff is all, all really good. Um, uh, very similar to what uh, our cars would do right now. It is definitely iteratively better. But here you see that, that is, this is cool. So a, a two lane road became a four lane road and the car sort of, perfectly chooses which lane to go to. We saw it previously as well, isn't it, Mikey? Where we, we, we it turned, we, we went on to the other lane, on the left lane, right. to choose that left lane. Uh, this is pretty awesome. This is pretty awesome. Um, even the uh, uh, moving on the uh, green light is a little better than uh, our cars in Australia. We need to give it a little bit of, of nudge for it to, uh, to go and follow a vehicle. But here, this is, this is pretty awesome. I'm very, very impressed. Um, so... Um, so overall, uh, have you tested in other situations as well? Uh, what what are the what are the places where you thought the car is not performing very well? Well, especially uh, U-turns. <laughs> U-turns. You know, we did do we did do a U-turn. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure that video will be there either in the last of this uh, last part of this video or just. just... We haven't done. It.
Okay. So let's see if it does a U turn. Oh, this is I say no U turn. Oh, no U turn. Damn it. There's a sign, but let's see if he's going to do it. It might still do it. It might still do it, yeah. It's waiting for the car. Okay. Okay, this is interesting. Is there enough space for it to do the U turn? Oh, it didn't. It didn't want to do this. It didn't want to. Maybe this side. Maybe it'll do the U turn here, you reckon? I'm hoping for it. Oh, it won't do a U turn. No. No, it won't. Oh, it won't do a U turn. Okay, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> we got excited for nothing. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's still good. <laughs> we tried it. We tried a U turn. It did It's not a true U turn spot. That's true. So we hopefully, should try it. yeah, we should try it. Definitely. Yeah, yeah we should try a U turn. Yeah. So that's U turn. Not really very good. What What other places you find it problematic? Oh, uh, roundabout. Uh, yeah. okay. That is important for us because right. we have lots and lots of roundabouts in right. Australia. So maybe later on we can. I'll take you to a roundabout area. Okay. Yeah. And then we can test it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So we'll have a roundabout video as well. So if people are watching, uh, there are chapters in this video where you can skip and uh, see what you want to see. Uh, but this first round of uh, FSD Beach Run has been um, phenomenal to say the least. I, I'm, I'm truly impressed by the way it has come through. I know if, I, if I'm testing it over and over again, I'll find out all the other small faults in this. It is not, it is not complete autonomous driving yet. Uh, but uh, Elon said uh, version 12 is coming very soon. Yeah, very soon. So I'm hoping, hopefully, hopefully within this year. Within this year, yeah. yeah. We hope so too, yeah. So once once uh, version 12 comes, I wonder if it will be ready for public release. Mm. Um, and uh, they're training the neural network and Dojo and all of that. So that's amazing. The way it judges, uh, this is completely tes Tesla vision, isn't it? No, really? Yeah. Is, there, is there ultrasonics in this car? There is. There no, so is. the Model X Play does have ultrasonics. Yes, yes, that's true. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Yeah, I, I still think that Sonics is better than uh, Tesla Vision at this time. But looking at what is happening, I think uh, uh, they'll do away with ultrasonics in all cars, and then Tesla Vision will be. So the sensors around the car and the cameras as well. So the ultrasonic sensors, uh, radar is there too, and uh, all the other ultrasonic sensors are there. Uh, but uh, they are removing the ultrasonic sensors from most of the threes and threes and Ys. So yes. if you buy a three, yeah. uh, you wouldn't have uh, ultrasonic sensors. Right, and. Uh... Their current production with the S and X um, no longer have radars. Just uh, straight. Oh, okay, the new S and X don't have yes. radars or so, ultrasonics. Okay. Yeah, the version four you mentioned. So, yeah, yes. the hardware four. Okay, yes. so hardware four cars don't have ultrasonics. Okay. Radio. Fair enough. Fair enough. So in our cars, when there's a red light there, the car wouldn't be able to recognize. So there's a small difference. So for people who are watching from Australia, so our uh, traffic signals are all together in one single cluster. So we have a cluster traffic signal. You see, the American tra traffic signals, the, the left arrow was a separate traffic signal to itself. And the straight uh, traffic signals were separate to itself. So the car is actually programmed to read that. In our, F in our uh, um, autopilot computer, because our uh, traffic signals are a single cluster, and there's a left arrow within the same cluster as the right arrow, the same cluster as the straight uh, arrow, uh, the car sometimes gets a little confused. Uh, when so you see here that the left arrow, red, is a separate signal onto itself. And the straight is a separate signal, ours is a single cluster of, of signals. So our cars get confused. So when the uh, left lane turns green, the car actually chimes to say that it's good to go, but it's actually a red light. Mm -hmm. You see the difference? So here you can see each individual uh, signal is a um, separate signal unto itself. So that is a little different in our case, adding the battery low. <laughs> Just, yeah, what, what's interesting is like coming up uh, when we're about to enter the highway, this construction, they just build a new bridge and stuff like that. Oh, okay. So that'll be something interesting to yes, watch. Certainly interesting uh, to watch. 100%. I agree. Okay. It might mess it up or it might not. Yeah, yeah, no, it's good to test that. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely. Really good to test that. So when the highway comes up, there's some construction. It looks yes. like there's a, uh, it's not a UE, but it looks like a, uh, a loop. A loop. Yeah. yeah, it's a loop. That's, that's interesting to see. So there's, there's, a, there's a road which goes there and comes down and goes down. So that'll be interesting to see. We do have a couple of loops, but not in the same. Uh, same vein as this one, but uh, yeah, it's interesting to see. And, and Mike Yamas, thank you very much, mate. Uh, you're being a very good host. Oh, thank uh, you. Once more, uh, if you guys are uh, wanting to hire Mikey's car, all of the details will be there. I, I'm hiring it through Turo uh, in the description of this video, so go check that out. Um, uh, give Mikey a shout out too. So we are coming up, we are approaching that um, uh, highway, uh, and we'll see how the car fares. Okay, small nag came up there. Okay. 
still green, but there are cars in front of us, so there are follow cars. Cars making a couple of chimes, but it still still seems fine. Oh, it wants to take that. <laughs> this will be interesting. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what will it do? Wow, this is exciting. Dun, dun, dun. Whoa. There was a bollard there, but yes. I missed the bollard. Yes. It's amazing. I would thought that the bollard would get hit because it's actually I missed it. Missed that. That's amazing. Was it luck or was it actually? I don't know. I didn't judge that bollard. I'm not sure. Wow. Okay, let's see what this does. This is very interesting. It, it has to take this loop and come yeah. down. It needs to make, it needs to be on the right lane to make the loop. Okay. Um, so let's see what happens. Let's see what it does. Yeah, this is interesting. Will it put the signal on and ask for, ask for somebody to stop? First, it marked this car as blue. I think this is the marquee car for the track. No. Okay, let's see. It's calculating on the screen. Oh, it's calculating on the screen, okay. Then it turned on the indicator like a human would do, asking for a way. Oh, there it is. Whoa! Oh, whoa! Okay, now? And when the previously marked blue car gave it way for it to merge onto the right lane, it took that right lane in a near human-like aggressive fashion. Very, very interesting. Just to go this, lo this loop, isn't it? Yes. Far out! <laughs> it did it! Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, it is not, it is not the best. It's not the best. Just to go this, lo this loop, isn't it? Yes. Far out. <laughs> it did it. Indeed, it did take that curve. It was simply amazing. But I'll tell you why it is not perfect. You see, as we took that right turn, it should have stayed on the right side of the lane, like here. Instead, the car was more on the middle of the road, on the solid white line between the two lanes. And then it went on to the left lane instead of saying on the right lane. And that is why I thought it was not perfect. But still, hey, it is awesome. But it made it. But it made it. This is impressive. This is really impressive. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, it was, it was aided a little bit by the guys behind and they, they, just, they did stop for a little bit. Oh, it didn't. It didn't. It just, it ran the red line. It ran the red. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Sweet Tesla, how can you do that? It's one car per red. I'm oh, sorry, one car per green. But one per oh, it saw the green on the on the left lane and then went forward. Oh shoot. Sure. The red was on the side. Oh okay. Bad Tesla. Bad Tesla. <laughs> <laughs>